Hello and welcome to Happy Healthy Homo. Hello. I'm Keegan. <laughs> and I'm Joel. Yes, you are. And he's my boyfriend. I'm his boyfriend. He is. And I mean, everyone watching this currently already knows who we are. I feel like we don't need to intro it, but it's good to have an intro, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to have an intro. Definitely. And we finally revealed the name of, of the project that we've been working on. Yeah, this is our project, our podcast. Mm -hmm. Happy Healthy Homo. I yeah. mean, the clue is in the title. Yeah, we just got asked, arriving at the studio, oh, what's the podcast about? And we were both like, uh, 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 and couldn't describe it, but actually the title of it describes it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, I think we've become, uh, in the conversations that we've had, we've become very aware that there's lots of people who are, lots of gay men particularly, mm. who are like disillusioned with the gay community. Yeah. And I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, with the gay community. <laughs> gay community, yeah, right. Um, with the gay community and, and the, the the norms, now they are appropriate because they're not necessarily normal. Yeah. You know, and standards and the hypocrisy of it as well, mm. you know, of, of how discriminatory it is, how exclusive it can be yeah. when it talks about being inclusive and welcoming to all. Yeah. Um, and, and we've put a lot of content about that out lately, haven't we? Mm. And it's been getting a lot of traction. We thought, do you know what? There's something here and because we don't subscribe to a lot of stuff that's viewed as the normal behavior or ha what's going on. And we thought, well, you know, maybe there can be another narrative. Yeah. Maybe there can be another, a voice of a reason. Yeah, um, definitely. We hate it when people think that th there is a certain way to be gay. Yeah. And, oh, you're gay. That means you have to go out partying every weekend. That means you have to take loads of drugs. That means you have to be really promiscuous and yeah. sleep around. It means, or whatever. It might not even be as serious as yeah, that. Yeah, but, but you love musicals. I mean, yeah, obviously, I do, do love musicals. You love drag queens? I mean, I do love drag queens. I don't really care for but drag queens. We, yes, you do. Oh, well, you got, love drag queens. I've race. got drag queen fatigue. Yeah. It hasn't everyone. Dratigue. Dratigue. Yeah. We've all got dratigue. But, yeah, so the, these this idea that there's, there's a, set way. a set way to live, behave, relationships. Yeah. You know, all this stuff that's now perpetual, uh, all you people are popping on about is open relationships. I know. It's like, no, I'm all right, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Um, but and we'll save that for another episode. Yeah, that can be another episode. So <laughs> the the challenge for us is like, how do we structure this this podcast in a way where we can address different issues in each episode? Um, so you guys can help with that. You can obviously email us we've got an email address yeah hello at happy healthy homo dot com dot com so you can email us your ideas and things like that and we are all over the socials as well yeah it, what are we on instagram tiktok happy healthy homo yeah on yeah. all of those yeah. as well as our personal pages but just to snowball on what you've said as well obviously we make videos on youtube i'm a YouTuber, have been for years. You are a new tuber. Yeah. Uh, is that a thing? <laughs> have you just made that up? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. You're a new tuber. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. Um, but people, we get lots of comments going, this is amazing. Like, this is like, you guys are just normal. And again, we have a weird view of like, don't really like to say normal. Yeah, we don't, I don't really. We, we've, had, yeah. we've had discussions about the word we normal, have. haven't we, Joe? We have, and we will have more <laughs> discussions about that because I love saying normal. Keegan hates I'm it. I'm not a fan of the word normal. But people are like, oh my gosh, you two are just two regular guys and you never see this. And of all the gay vloggers on there, you two are the most real and da 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 da. And it's not that we're trying to be. Sorry, this sounds like such a humble brag. <laughs> not that we're trying to be, but... I'm like, no, a lot of gay relationships are like this. It's just the the ones that get the most attention and the ones that shout the loudest yeah. tend to be the most extremes. Yeah, yeah. And not many people can relate to those extremes. And then think that that is the yeah. the standard, that is the expectation. And then uh, as as gay men, and not every, not again, not generalizing, all points not generalizing, but for a lot of gay men and for what i do is you know coaching mm -hmm. in particular gay guys yeah that our our lived experience is unique to us as a community you know mm -hmm. we don't share our minority status with our parents mm -hmm. we there's there's a lot of shame and um you know over the over the like 
generational shame that's kind of come down through yeah. you know there's there's a generation that grew, grew up through through the aids epidemic the, you know growing up through uh, the 90s through mm. section 28 um you know every everything that's that's going on now with laws being repealed don't say gay but bill in america mm. chechnya you know all these things going on across the world that you know it's still illegal in countries across the world and punishable by death to yeah. be to be gay mm. you know there there is a lot tied in with how you are born yeah right and again that again that's i think you're born gay i don't think you get to choose yeah because i know from my experience and from a lot of people's experience uh, originally i would have chosen not to be gay yeah now i love being gay yeah like i'm very comfortable in my own skin mm. now but once upon a time, that was not the case. And I think our lived experience... So we do look to each other for help. The gay mm. community is important. Yeah. And it's important that it's supportive and it's helpful and it's progressive. And that doesn't mean that it has to be, you know, holier than thou. No. And because, you know, we, we can go and do what we want to do. But I think the... The idea that there's a one size fits all mm. in any walk of life yeah. is preposterous. Yeah, but it's so easy to get blindsided that, especially with social media. Yeah, you know, especially when your for you page or your search page on Instagram is just full of these idealistic, yeah. um, you know, couples who look like they carved out of granite and yeah. they think they've got it all. It's really easy to look at yourself and go, "I'm not that. Yeah, I ain't got that." Well, that's the bias as well of social media platforms themselves that the algorithm you know the meme where it says like lol that it took me 10 years to work out i was gay and it took tiktok all of three seconds <laughs> yeah <laughs> but like as soon as the algorithm on tiktok is like oh this is a gay guy suddenly your for you, for you page is full of topless guys dancing and these yeah as if that's what you want to see and like obviously we can all admire a nice body well, but it's like i, I mean, also have other interests <laughs> yeah but the th this is the thing right the algorithm brings up what people want yeah and it, that's why and you train it and that's why yeah but it's always that's why it's always full of people who are in great shape because mm -hmm. whether you're straight gay anything else man woman anybody else everybody wants to look and feel good mm. not to post everywhere everybody wants to be healthy mm -hmm. that is like an aspirational thing for everybody so that's why it comes up a lot and that's yeah. why it gets pushed on the algorithm and yeah but i think we're probably not going to change that. No, I don't think you know because th these social media giants are going to. That's yeah. how they work. They're pushing what works. But but what we what we I think what we want to do certainly with this podcast is maybe maybe you know ten x thinking. Yeah. Um, is help. We should have just explained that by the way. Ten <sighs> x thinking. Is I didn't a know strategy. what ten x thinking was. Oh, I learned at YouTube where they were like ten x thinking is what they used to discover new products that they google can make and it's like think of an idea and times it by 10 and they're like you're never saying no to an idea even if it's stupid yeah like you just say it as even like, even, as yeah, if, it even if it's so grandiose that yeah. it's it's like preposterous that yeah you could but you just go yeah yeah you know that this podcast could be uh revolutionary and it could but I, you know i mean that'd be amazing but yeah as a minimum, what I'd love it to do is to start people thinking mm. that there's an uh, there's an alternative, yeah. rather than measuring success mm. in how many abs you can see yeah. and how many you know grinder hookups you can get, mm. or how many um, how much even how you know how much money you earn. That yeah. it's oh, it's on so, you know deeper more meaningful metrics yeah you know your health mm -hmm. your well-being mm -hmm. your connections you know, with other connection people, with other other people other your friendships your what you do within a community whether that's the gay community whether that's your local community mm. you're a gamer and it's you get whatever it is yeah you know th that's the it's I, I feel like social media is so good and it's i'm I'm, I do think it's a force for good and obviously it can be a bit of a double-edged sword. Mm. But I think it, it what it has done, which is a, a real bad thing, is that it's taken away nu n nuance. Mm. And people think that something is 
this or it's this. Yeah. It's black or it's white. T- the two things can't be true at the same time. Yeah. It's either my thing is true or your thing is true. Mm. And everything's like a zero-sum game. I, I win, you lose. And yeah. it doesn't have to be like that. We can all win. Mm-hmm. There's lots of, you know, abundance mindset. There's lots of stuff to go around. Yeah. And I, th- I think it's... I think people need reminding of that. Yeah. And I think people need reminding that there's not, like we said earlier, one, one size fits all, one way to do yeah. things. Well, particularly as new gays or people that have newly come out and come into terms with their sexuality, they're navigating the gay world. And when I say Baby that... Baby gays. Huh? Baby gays. Baby gays. But as we say that, you think of like a 16-year-old who's just come out. But from your experience with PTIQ, there are a lot of older guys that came out. I mean, me and you came out in our late 20s. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there are guys out there who are still coming out into their 50s, 60s yeah, and beyond. Yeah, I've had clients who've come out in their 50s and yeah. 60s, their 40s. And it's those people that I've had conversations with some of them. You have too, like in our life, not just PTIQ members, but where people have gone like, I just don't know where I fit where in. Where I fit in, yeah. Because I'm, I'm old or older because I'm not in shape, because I don't have a lot of money, because I'm, I'm not that, like, I'm not a big personality or I'm not, they give themselves all these excuses because they think they need all those things yeah. in order to fit in. And so I feel like this podcast is just us providing an alternative to go, mm, yeah. you don't need to do that. Well, it's, yeah, it's challenging those narratives that like age, like, yeah. <laughs> is there a community more ages than the gay community? Yeah. Like if it's you're, awful. O- if you're over 35, you might as well be dead. Yeah. Um, and if you're single and 35, then you, you're done. You're done. But, I mean, I just find it, I, I, maybe this is because I'm a, like a big history geek and I like mm. learning about the past, but th- there's ex- there's so these men who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, mm. s- 70s have gone through so much. Obviously, in the world, the world has changed, but yeah. the the society at large has changed so yeah. much. R- uh, attitudes towards gay people, mm. lo- even laws around. You know, if yeah. you're seventy years old, you mm. will have lived through uh, in the UK. You will have lived through the decriminalisation of homosexuality. Yeah. You will have, you know, might have been around for the Wolfenden Report. You might have, um, you, you were there when Section Twenty Eight was launched by Thatcher in eighty eight. You were oh, that was very good. I don't know. Where, I only know that because it's the same. Year. Here's my birth when I was born. Um, he's 35. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's, de- he's dead. dead. <laughs> um, you know, there's all, all the, the AIDS epidemic, mm-hmm. all these things that have, you know, first prides and things like that. These are people that we should be going, what? What need we, it should be what them? Could you teach what, yeah, me? what could you teach me? How can we be better gays? How can well, we exactly. help each other out? Because even as you said that, I feel now imposter syndrome of going. How am I? I'm 31, you're 35. We're, how are we qualified to be doing this podcast? But I know that the alternative then is that this podcast doesn't get made. Yeah. So we've had to fight those battles in our own head of going, no, 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 we have got something to say. We're also not perfect. And we're not necessarily saying that what we're saying Speak is the right way. <laughs> um, is the right way. We're just offering an alternative. 100%. Um, yeah, I, and we will call out what we believe to be unhealthy behaviours and there will be some gays out there that go I don't think that's unhealthy so we might ruffle a few fe- feathers 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 <laughs> in it bro uh, yeah yeah exactly we, we that was a conversation we had about starting this podcast was mm. can we do this yeah. like, are we qualified but who 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 is qualified and yeah. you know uh, for for me, I know that once people start watching this and mm. people start getting in touch with us and talking about this or even challenging things that we've said yeah. so that then it gives us another perspective on it. Yeah. You know, I'm sure that this will be a learning process Definitely. for us as well and something that, you know, we, we might have thought that we were really yeah i'd figure it out it. yeah and then you go well maybe that not be and I, th- and I mean again that's probably is a thing if you think you've got something completely figured out you're probably yeah. going to get bit in the backside aren't you but but we all have those firm beliefs. We've, I feel everyone has some beliefs that they hold like very firmly and other people ha- and then we also have beliefs that are a bit more malleable. So I feel like we will be honest when there are things where we go, this is what I think I could be wrong and maybe da 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 da. But there will also be times where I'm just like, I, I, this is a hill I will die on. <laughs> I do not think that's healthy. And I don't care if someone's offended by that because actually I'm so passionate about providing this alternative 
Life, we hate lifestyle. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying I feel passionate about standing up for my community, which is the gays that go, I don't fit in with with the gays. I don't want to go out partying. I don't want to be in an open relationship. I don't want to just spend a million dollars on my body stuffing it full of filler and like chiseled abs and all these things. I mean, I would like chiseled abs. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, nobody's going to say no to no. that. But do you know but what it's I mean? not the be all and end all is what we're but saying. There, that that's the hill I will die on because I'm like, well, I'd rather give a voice to these people than like the popular kids in the gay community. Yeah, we're taking taking back control. We're, we're taking back we're control. We're going to the back of the bus and we this kicking, is a revolution and we're kicking the cool kids. Yeah, you've you've not done a good job. No, we're moving you on. You haven't. You've not created a healthy environment for your community. Let's all hold hands. Let's all hold hands. Let's bake a cake with smiles and sunshine. Gays do love baking banana bread. <laughs> banana bread. Yeah, gays and banana bread. Okay, that was the thing in lockdown. Yeah. Well, I feel like everyone made banana bread in lockdown. I didn't. didn't. You didn't? No, I made sourdough. Oh, uh, yeah, classic. <laughs> so gay. Um, it was easy because uh, there's no yeast. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got the air bubbles in it. Yeah, we've yeah. digressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sourdough, guys. <laughs> well, that's what you can expect as well. Just little little tangents as well about sourdough sometimes. Yeah, I think sourdough is overrated. And that's a hill I'm willing to <laughs> die on. <laughs> uh, so, Keegan, is there a topic that you're excited to cover in an upcoming episode of Happy Healthy Homo. I don't know. Um, I don't know about excited. I think or passionate about particularly. Well, obviously health mm -hmm. and and uh, body image, mm -hmm. beauty standards, things like that. I am. I am passionate about that. Yeah. Um, health is wealth. Health well, is but wealth. it is, and it, it, you know, I, I am passionate about that, and I think there's a lot of. I think it carries with it a lot of, again, it carries with it a lot of shame. Mm. People can often feel embarrassed about their body or not living up to a particular standard. And I think um, we need to take that away mm. as 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 a coach. Yeah. That, like, that's what I try to do. But also as someone who puts out content into the world, yeah. you know, is to try and... The, the aim of me putting something out into the world, I, I believe, rightly or wrongly, is to is to make the world a better place, is to add something to somebody. Yeah. I would hate for someone to watch my content and go, that's made me feel yeah. shit. It's Although, I suppose sometimes what triggers you is your therapist, and yeah. sometimes that's something that you need to lean into, but that, I'm, 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 I am passionate about that. I am trepidatious. Mm -hmm. I love that word. Thank you. Trepidatious. I'm trepidatious. Uh, about i just think some of the conversations will there'll be i can just i can see the comments already uh the ruffling of the feathers i think relationships yeah. will be a hot topic it will be yeah. um hot sex hot yeah. sex and those are the topics i'm looking forward to is like dating and relationships i mean you, you have, you're an expert on dating um, so I'm also looking forward to hearing about Joel's uh, dating experience. I just took it very seriously. And I I mean, we, we came from different backgrounds of you've been slightly more of a relationship guy. Uh, obviously, you've been on dates and you have been single occasionally. <laughs> but it's like you've been more on the relationship side and I've been more on the dating side. Mm. So we've come from different angles. So I think that will be interesting to discuss. But you're right. It will trigger people or ruffle some feathers. But... I don't, at this juncture, I'm like, I don't really, because I, again, know that I'm in the right, and I could be wrong. And, you're but, in the right, as in it's in line with your, how you with feel, my in, and in my your values, values and things, yeah. that's not to say that it's not no. right for somebody else, but. Yeah, but it's when that is forced on people. Well, so I'll give yeah. you an example, and maybe this is spilling too much tea immediately, and I feel like I'll get cancelled, but I was on another podcast a few years ago, <gasps> at, with gay guys there was four of us and i was the new one and in the first season i wasn't in the first season i was in the second season and in the first season i was just a fan a listener and they had someone on that basically said that gay people there is no place for a gay person with monogamous relationships Monog monogamy was designed for straight people and gay people shouldn't be monogamous and all of the hosts all four of them were like yeah yeah even though now i know them all of them are monogamous and they all sat there and were like, yeah, no, it's true. And and I said to them when I was in the studio, I was like, the only episode I had an issue with was that one. Why did none of you challenge him? Why didn't any of you go, 
Oh, really? Like, I don't believe that. And no one did. And I'm like, I am willing to be someone who challenges people. Because even though I don't like confrontation, if I'm passionate about something, I oh, am yeah. confrontational. You are, you can be a cat. So, um, yeah, I mean, you've seen it. If I get a bee in my bonnet, mm. in fact, I, it happened once where I put someone in their place and then Keegan took me aside and went, that was really hot. I've never seen you do that before. <laughs> do you remember what it was? No. I'll have to tell you off camera. <laughs> It was early doors, early doors with us. But anyway, so um, it's something like that. I'm like, I'm not just going to let that slide. I, again, I'm not going to like censor someone. If if someone wants to come on and talk about monogamy and how it's not for gay people, then yeah, you're mean, we're willing to fair have a, enough. Yeah, we're open to conversation. We're open to conversations, yeah, but not, I'm also happy to sit here and go, you're wrong. We're, yeah, we're not fascists. No. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> not, <laughs> well, well, we'll see. We're not fascists, but we're, yeah, yeah we're, we're not. Again, it's not about trying to impose a certain yeah. way of doing things on on other people. It's just yeah. about saying, well, that's one way of doing it. Yeah. This is another way. And there's going to yeah. be a million other ways. So just mm. make informed decisions. That's what people don't do. Yeah. They, sit, they watch a TikTok and they go, oh, someone who's got a million, he's got a million likes said I should be in an open relationship and he's fit. Mm -hmm. So I believe him yeah. and I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. And don't like not, not another thought goes through their head. And then six months down the line, they've been pursuing something that's not actually in line with their values and their yeah. beliefs. And then there's this distortion of, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't feel like I, whenever you don't feel like you fit in, it's because you're not acting in line with you're your not values. Being authentic. Yeah. You're, you're not, yeah. You're not being true to yourself, mm -hmm. whether it's to your values, to your morals, to your beliefs, to whatever, yeah. you know, a big thing. And I, I, I find like the whole chemsex thing, s scene, culture, I think it's really destructive mm -hmm. and I think for, especially for a community where sex growing up can be so taboo mm -hmm. you know hiding and yeah. you know people not and then you go to do something sex should be something that you enjoy and, and present for and present for yeah like mentally present <laughs> yeah. as well as physically yeah, you kind of need to be physically present yeah uh, well <laughs> zoom uh, <laughs> but, yeah you know that people are told that this is you need to get off your head and you need to sleep with X amount of people in one night and maybe not mm. recall it and consent is blurred. And mm. if you, if sex should be three things, mm. it should be, it should be consensual. It should be safe mm. and it should make you feel good. Mm. And I don't feel like chemsex is ticking all those boxes. Yeah. Well, yeah, that'll be a really big topic. It's not something I know anything about, so it'll be interesting to maybe we'll even get someone yeah, on man. who who knows a bit about the destructiveness of it. Yeah, but yeah, or someone who's an advocate for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is what you can expect from this podcast, guys. I hope that that was a detailed enough introduction to what Happy Healthy Homo is. We're also hoping to get a website up and running. Yeah. I mean, we have the domain, so no one go out there and try and steal it. We've already got it. Yeah. Um, but it'd yeah, be great to have a hub. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want to do. We want to create a hub where, you know, we, we want to promote gay businesses mm -hmm. and, you know, if people want to source something that's you know we might have gay holiday destinations advertised yeah. on there or like say gay businesses or um gay sports teams or yeah. you know things like that where people can go yeah i can find the things that i need it's all in one place mm -hmm. it's legit yeah. and you know you're being directly linked with mm -hmm. people from your community yeah. who i suppose if you're watching happy healthy home you have similar mm -hmm. values beliefs you know you, you you're on the same similar yeah. page to us mm -hmm. and hopefully those people will be as well and we can um connect people life is yeah. about people isn't it? it is isn't it we isn't just it? want to be happy we want to be healthy and we want to be home oh yeah i actually i wanted to say the the reason that because when we came up with the title mm -hmm. joel had said happy healthy and homo mm -hmm. and i said to drop the and yeah because when I grew up, I, f I found it really difficult to be a rugby player. And obviously, I was gay, but I was in denial about being gay. Because mm. um, I didn't think they could both exist at the same time. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of people out there who don't, think, who that. don't think that you can be gay yeah. and you can be healthy and happy. When I have had that from my Christian 
like yeah, upbringing exactly, yeah. as well. So we've had that on both sides. That'll be interesting to unpack as well. Yeah, so I th that's why it's called Healthy Happy Homo because you can be... Happy Healthy Homo. You just said Healthy Happy, which was also another discussion. I was like, <laughs> happy has to come first. Oh yeah, happy, happy before health. Yeah. Um, although you could argue that healthy is happy anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Happy Healthy Homo because... You can be all three things, yeah, and they do not have to be separate from each other. They don't have to be in, in only one area of your life, you know. As someone who's gone from considering taking their own yeah. life at, at the thought of being gay to mm. now doing a podcast about <laughs> being gay and happy and healthy, yeah. I feel like I've come on a very long journey. So yeah. that is why I feel qualified Definitely. to talk about it. Definitely, um, and you can just stick a "I'm a" in front of it. I mean, if you are a gay man, I can see this. the t-shirts already. I'm a health, happy, healthy homo. See, I nearly got the name wrong again. Yeah, t-shirts, 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 speedos, merch. Well, people don't like people say you, you, you've got to wear speedos. You don't have to wear speedos. You don't have to wear speedos. Keto, keto. <laughs> Keegan loves a speedo. Keto. Yeah. That's your yeah. name. I, well, um, I wear, wear speedos because I wear them under my rugby kit to keep everything. Yeah. In place, yeah. I think jock straps are weird. Yeah. Anyway, we've, don't we've like died. That. We've died, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. We are on YouTube. You might be watching this on YouTube right now. Uh, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere. Anywhere you, you listen to podcasts. If you could give us a rating on wherever you get your podcasts, reviews, ratings, comments, yeah. shares. Like you are social media savvy people. Mm. You know what you're doing. Yeah. Like. Do the subscribing, the liking, the sharing. That would help us out. Yeah, a rating, we'll comments. see you next time for a, for an episode. Should I tell them what the next episode is going to be just so they can get real excited? Um, it's going to be on body image. Shock. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> well, we thought Start Strong is something strong. we've both had experiences with, but particularly you because you are a coach. I am. And you work with people day in, day out who want to change their relationship to themselves and their body mm -hmm. and improve their health absolutely anyway absolutely that was a good one oh right God. guys <laughs> bye bye <laughs>